It's been a minute since I made a video, but I actually saw something that I have to, uh, I don't have to, but I want to talk about. Um, and it's, I believe it's important because it, it proves, obviously, a lot of people know the media likes to manipulate people. They like to to twist information. Um, they like to pick and choose what they put out. Oh, by the way, I got color changing lights. So now it'll keep, it'll, it'll sort of distract people, but it'll, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, the color's changing. It'll keep people glued for some reason, you know? It's like, oh, I don't know why I want to keep watching this. But re in reality, your brain's like, oh, shit, that light. It's, it's, it's anyways. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into this. Now, I'm not against people who want to fix any issues with the police that there may be. I am against the people that like to deny that there are any issues whatsoever with the police or that police brutality shouldn't be talked about because, oh, it happens to white people too. And it's like, if it happens to white people too, why are you okay with it? If there, it's, it's not that it doesn't exist. That's not what you're saying. It's that it, well, they do try to make it as if it doesn't exist, but it, your, your argument is that it doesn't exist because it exists with everyone. That there's no discrimination. Your, your argument should then be, which a lot of theirs is, also is, it's not a race-based thing. And it's like, okay, now it becomes the semantics of whether it's race-based. And it gets to be this whole argument, it's just stupid. Okay, so I'm against those people that try to argue against it for those reasons. But I'm also against the people that try to boil it down to just being about race. Because it's not. And I sort of want to get into that. Because now when you try to boil down issues, complex issues that America does have, you now narrow it down and dumb it down for just one, you narrow it down to race, you're just dumbing it down and trying to fix the issue for your community. When you make it about the issue at hand completely, then you're fixing the whole issue at hand and your people will be affected positively by it as well as everyone else's. Now... Obviously, it's not a. This isn't me saying all lives matter. That's not. That's not that case. I think all lives matter. It's. It's disingenuine. The the reason why it was made is disingenuine. You're protesting to a protest about. You know, I like. But even still, the Black Lives Matter thing. It, my thoughts on that. That'd be a whole other video. I don't need to get into all that. But with this being said, we see the video of George Floyd. Okay, I'm going to use this as an example because this is actually a perfect example for this. Now, you see the video of George Floyd where a man is kneeling on his neck. I believe his name is Did Chauvin, Derek Chauvin or whatever the fuck it was. And he was kneeling on George Floyd's neck for 8 minutes 45 seconds. George Floyd was pretty much begging for his life. He called out for his mother because he knew that he was going to die, essentially. And then we see him pass out a, a, and then die on camera, pretty much. It's a sad thing to see. Everyone from conservatives, liberals, all agreed it was horrible. Okay. Now, what if I were to tell you that there was a situation in Dallas, Texas, that happened in 2019, where the exact same thing had happened. There was a man whose neck was being kneeled on. It was an illegal, uh, illegal, illegal knee bar, I believe. Uh, what the hell is it called? Anyways, he was doing the exact same thing, pretty much, putting his knee on a man's neck, kneeling on his neck. I don't remember for how long. I don't know how long it took, but the man, the 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 headline, you could find this online by just looking up, you're going to kill me, Dallas police officer. Look that up. On Google, you're going to kill me, Dallas police officer. It's the exact same thing. The man is kneeling on this man's neck. I believe the officer's name is Tempa. I don't know his first name, Officer Tempa. He's kneeling on this man's neck, and the man says, you're going to kill me. He's begging for his life, just like George Floyd. The officers, this happened in 2016, actually. It wasn't 2019. The footage was officially released 2019 after, like, a whole entire legal pursuit and all that. They were, they officially released it, and all three officers got off. And it's like, dude, that's fucked up. It sounds eerily similar to the issues that, you know, like, just imagine that man is black outrage i mean this sounds like some it probably tr it probably would trigger a lot of black people to hear this happen it's like man that's fucked up this always happens like why please keep getting away with this and then you figure out that this exact same thing happened 
Well, at least the footage came out, and there's this article from 2019, but this happened 2016, but the footage came out 2019, all officers got acquitted, and the man was white. He was a white man. But you see, George Floyd, he's essentially like, uh, what do you want to call him, a martyr? Modern day Jesus, people using his name to prop up the Black Lives Matter movement, police officers, fucked up all that, you know? This, though, doesn't warrant even a, a smidgen of the same reaction. Nobody cares. You, you see how the media, the media doesn't decide to prop this up? It does, they don't decide to push this out and put this forward because it happened to a white man? It's the exact same situation. The exact same situation. And the point isn't to say that there's no issue with police brutality. I'm not trying to say that there's no thing such as police brutality police brutality but it's that the media is feeding in to a lot of vulnerable black people a lot of black people that that view the world like this or that that they know that they can manipulate by constantly showing this to them feeding this to them making this seem like it's the reality of america that officers are specifically coming after black people for you know and then you have this exact same situation that they don't decide to put on the news why does this man's life matter less than anyone else's? Here, he, they're both human beings at the end of the day. It's a fucked up situation. And the fact that this man died the exact same way as George Floyd, but didn't get the same coverage, it shows that it's not a thing of the media caring about George Floyd's life. It's about them caring about this narrative that they want to push. There's some other stuff going on. They're not doing this just because they want to do it. There's, there's, they're puppets. They're, they're, there's people moving strings in the background that's telling them to do this for whatever fucking reason. Hire up more powerful people, I, I'd assume, for whatever fucking reason. Because it's a clear pattern. Why are they not talking about this? It happened the exact same way. Well, clearly because the guy was white. But I don't think that these people are just like, oh yeah, I don't care about white people. That's what they have to do for their jobs. I'm talking about the news, the media, obviously. That's what they have to do for their jobs. That People are telling them to do this. They've been, this is a part of their plan. Like, they... they Whatever the fuck the plan is, probably what we're seeing right now, and probably some type of race war, I don't fucking know. But what the fuck is this? What, what, how, how do you not talk about this? But look, I, look, you, you guys can look it up. Um, look, um, what's it called? Uh, you're going to kill me, Dallas police officer. Just Google that. Y'all have a good day, man. Hope y'all like my light.